So filling in people who are just tuning in from YouTube, we just took a vote in chat. Looks like we're building around Zergatry for our first Series 11 team. And it's kind of interesting. I haven't used Zergatry since, when's the last time I used Zergatry? It was like Series 8, not Series 8, Um, Series 7, I think, or Series 9. I had a Zergatry team. And thank you for the follow, Craft Coin. Where's the stupid Zergatry team? There it is. This was a really interesting one. I actually had fun using this. This is pretty fun. Um, not sure how far I'll get with <laughs> that, but um, I could see it being okay. I could see like a pretty defensive Zergatry being actually really nice versus Ashian, since Ashian doesn't really care anything for it. All right, let me think of what I want to bring with it though. Um, I could do... Do I want to do Kyogre? I feel like Kyogre isn't that great. Well, this version would be, but we don't have that. Lando. Well, I, the reason I'm thinking like Kyogre is because it lets me actually spam like Thunder. Which could be kind of nasty. I could do... How much speed do I need to outspeed Zacian? Or I, it would have to be Calyrex, if anything. B22. You gotta buy 1.5. 148. Can I hit that and be modest? I don't think I can. I have to be timid. I don't even know if I hit it. Ooh, it perfectly hits it. I don't know if that's worth it though. I'd have to be like discharge. And even then it's a speed tie. Like it's literally only a speed tie. Yeah, 149. Um, I could just have like a different plan for Calyrex. And just speed creep for Zacian and try to go modest. That, that actually might be the play. It gets me a little bit more bulk. 220. I hate that it's actually, that I still actually have to run. <laughs> that I actually still have to run, um, Timid. Whoop. So, 147. Or no. Why can't I do math? 221 divided by 1.5. Yeah, I have to run 147. I want to do that. Literally one less point. Actually, like, I don't know. I, I could do something funny, like like a self sacking Zerkatry, or like like a like a town play next to it to sack itself. That could be kind of interesting. I might be, I might actually just go bulky. I think bulky might be the play, and I can just go like Tailwind. This could actually be kind of nasty if I run like a bulky tornado, so I could sack it. <laughs> I feel like Whimsicott would be better though in the end. Because then I get stuff like um, Encore. And then I'm also faster than opposing Tornadus. That'd be kind of cool. Hmm. Obviously, if I'm just going for like enough speed to at plus two outspeed things, I can go with um, 111. No, 112. That's what I need. Zurich Plusation, Goth, and Rillaboom. That's that's another option. Um, I definitely want Tailwind as a thing, though. It'd be cool if I could like really easily tank a hit from something like. Let me do some calcs. The fun part about Zerkatry is you don't have to calc anything. <laughs> you don't have to calc anything uh, Dynamax versus Zacian. Or for Zacian calcs in general, you don't have to calc Dynamaxed. Because it's all the same. Alright, uh, Behemoth Blade actually does a solid amount. How much HP can I afford and still run max? What if I go like... What if I weren't like Zap Cannon? I think Thunder and Zap Cannon have like the exact same damage. 
like when Dynamax. It's 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 probably the same. Yeah. So I'll go Thunder. And I might build like a Tornogre team. I want to see what I need to one shot this thing. Can I even one shot this? Why is this thing always like immune to getting one shot in like every context? It feels like in every single context, this thing's just always gonna take the hit. If only we had like a prankster electric train Pokemon. I could run like Helping Hand, that wouldn't be bad. I could go Helping Hand over Taunt, but I honestly really want the Taunt. Because that just lets me get like a free KO on pretty much whatever I want. I might try that. Um, yeah. Thank you for the follow, Balrog. Blender Policy Zap Cannon. I considered it, but it. it eh. I don't know if I want that. Um, I find it so funny that this thing only gets like electric and grass coverage. It gets Dazzling Gleam, which is obviously going to be kind of nice. Uh, what do we even hit, though? Like, Urshifu? I suppose that's a thing. So, obviously, I want Dazzling Gleam. What if I actually ran Tornadus? What if I actually did? Pretty sure Tornadus gets Helping Hand, right? Does not, huh? I could always get rid of Protect, but I kind of need Protect. I'm gonna drop Discharge, obviously. Do I just run Mono Thunder? I think Thunderbolt's probably fine. Electroweb, Volt Switch. Uh, probably gonna go with Volt Switch. Maybe not. Maybe maybe I actually run like Energy Ball. Do I really need an energy ball? How good is Groudon? Groudon's not like terribly good. Hmm. Thing is, I definitely want protect just to be able to eat hits a little bit better. Yeah, because this thing just like KOs everything. I could run AV. Maybe I do run AV, and that al that allows me to run like Grass Knot. Or not Grass Knot, but Energy Ball, and that probably lets me one shot Groudon. Does it get any kind of psychic? No, it doesn't. This is always the tough part. Let's fill out the rest of the team first. Probably just gonna go Mystic Water. Yeah, Mystic Water is not a bad idea. Um, let me check something. Reggie Lucky wise, I want to make sure I outspeed it. And I always forget what the, what like the speed calc is. I think I have to be timid. Two seventy seven divided by or two seventy eight divided by two. One thirty nine. Can I hit that modest? I might be able to, but just barely, and then I lose that a lot of bulk. I do. I can't hit that. I might actually do that then. I might do that just for the extra damage output, and I, I might not even be that bulky. Thundy Grout on Venue. Thundy Grout on Venue is notoriously good core. It is like actually really gross. I definitely need a ground switch in, so kind of like Lando. I could run like a uh, goggles Lando. Definitely need to take a Behemoth Void. Armaldo. I'm not even. I don't know what Armaldo would even do on this team. My my general my general methodology when it comes to team building is like. How do I explain it? I let myself have one weird Pokemon. 
and right now that's Zerkatree. And because I'm only allowing myself one niche Pokemon that fills in a gap for the rest of the team, I wouldn't feel comfortable putting Armaldo in there when I know something else does its job much better. Because that would just make it harder to use the rest of the team. If I were to use Armaldo at all, I'd have to build entirely around it. I kind of like Goggles, uh, Goggles Lando. I, hmm. What's actually kind of nice about Zergatry, especially if I end up going bulky, is I could use it to just absolutely annihilate opposing Thunderous. Let me check something. How much do I need to actually start one-shotting things? Because I, I would go bare minimum if I could. I could literally not invest into special attack and still one-shot things. Let me check stuff. Oh my god, yeah, like... This is actually nasty. Like, I'm not one-shotting it Dynamaxed, but... Still a decent amount of damage. Or I think it might be worth going Assault Vest. Hey Moxie, have you gotten Pokemon Diamond and Pearl for the pre-order? I haven't pre-ordered it yet. I usually just... Buy it. <laughs> Like, I, I don't really care about pre-ordering it, because I, I tend to just get, like, the digital copy anyways nowadays. Life Orb Berserk. Yeah, we're probably going to get more out of the Assault Vest. We need your playlist, man. It's it's all from the, um... It's all from Rager Bonsai. I link them in all my videos. Let me run a very basic Lando Calc. Venusaur, maybe I go Lum Lando, actually. Lum is actually probably better to make sure I don't lose to Burning Jealousy Torkoal. Dynamaxed. The wrong Lando. Lander's T. That's not the right one. There we go. That's not the right one either. Dang it. I forgot that we built him bulky in series 11 or series 10. Think of the follow hype pokey gamer. Thank you. All right. Let's see how much we're taking. Uh, this going to be modest. Modest nature. Why don't they put Leaf Storm on this thing by default? Remix Vine Lash does a lot. Um, hmm. Fly. Obviously. Alright, yeah. I'm one-shotting that thing. If they're running Koba, so be it. Why well, I got the Lumberry. Um, is it possible to get this guy to outspeed Venusaur at plus two? While I'm at plus one. That'd actually be a really solid cow, because then I'd, I'd be I'd be willing to run Jolly if that was a thing. So 145, uh, we need to hit, what was that, 290, 291 divided by 1.5. I don't know if that's possible. 194, that seems very un, that seems very not possible. Yeah. Uh, that's fine, though. I actually have a Lando spread I can just steal from a previous team. This is literally just fun Landorus. I could put SD on this guy. But I think Protect might be better. I, I might go SD in the end, depending on how much Protect I have on this team. But yeah, Lumberry. Just a generally bulky set. A Manaphy egg? I might pre-order if there's a Manaphy egg. I don't have a Manaphy in game yet. Go Timid. Special attack. Thank you for the follow. Minesweep. Go with that for now. I still have to figure out how I'm going to EV the circuitry, but I, I usually like to get the skeleton of the team done first. Um, a Trick Room mode wouldn't be bad, especially considering the generally low speed in the Zerkatry. It sort of hits like a nice middle ground. 
Stack attack is looking not too bad, but it adds another ground weakness that I don't know if I want. Amoongus is also really nice, um, but that's doubling up on grass types, which might not be the best either. You could use a fire type. Generally speaking, it's not a bad idea to have a fire type on a rain team. Oh, Santa Scorch is something I'm meant to build around, but probably not today. Kind of feeling Moltres. I can see Moltres actually being really nice. Gives me another switch in to Groudon. I could put safety goggles on this thing. Hold on. Hold on. This is... It's kind of nasty. It's kind of nasty. Um, I can also build it like offensive instead of defensive. Flame body. Obviously, I want to be able to take a hit from Zacian. Is there any viability in the Trick Room Guts Flareon set? I could see Flareon not being bad in Dynamax. You definitely would need Guts to get like the most out of it. Like Toxic Orb stuff. Yeah, it hit like a truck. It hit like a truck. I could see it being a thing. Uh, but the only thing is it's like... I don't know. It doesn't have the best physical defense. Could be interesting though. Yeah, Moltres plus the tree is free, uh, free clickbait. You get the mana fig if you just get the game before February and Mystery Gift? Oh, okay, then no no point then. No point then. Defensive Moltres G, that is another thing. Moltres G would help me out so much. The only thing is I want like a another switch into Zacian. I know we're not terribly Zacian weak, but we're also we also don't want to lose the Sun matchup. And if we have a lot of contingency plans for Sun, we can be like very comfortable. I could go Urshifu Dark as my last Mon. I don't see that being terrible. Even Umbreon, but then, I don't know. Hmm. I don't think Umbreon would be a bad idea. But I also don't have a steel type. I could go Celesteela. Celesteela is not bad. Actually, we have a pretty big we have a pretty big electric weakness at that point, which means Reggie like you would mess with us. Definitely want some kind of other immunity. Like Zergatry Lando is nice versus Reggie like you. Don't get me wrong, but I have to be a little bit careful. I also did mention I want like some kind of trick room. If I put the Moltres on this team, I'm willing to put Stack Attacker. Yeah, I actually like this quite a bit. Yeah. Um, I already have a spread I can just steal real quick. This was just Shooka Stack. Very basic, but very effective. And uh, let's fill out the rest of this. Circuitry is like the main thing here. We are running Assault Vest, right? Yeah. Pretty sure we just absolutely annihilate Kyogre, but we might as well check. Drizzle. Modest. Wow, easy tank actually. That's like with no bulk. I don't need to invest much into special attack. Um, I think special attack might be like the last thing we invest into. I definitely want to build this guy bulky. So let me just make sure I like one shot this thing with max lightning. Coming off of thunder. I should, yeah, I can decrease from there and we'll just call that. There, that's like all the special attack we need. Modest 188. And then we can put the bulk wherever we need it. Uh, as far as Ashin goes, it could be cool if we get to a three shot. I don't know if it is possible though. I doubt it. Yeah, it's not possible. What if I 
Yeah, that's crazy how much that does. Uh, at neutral, it's probably just going to be a three shot. Really? I call BS. No way. What do you mean I can't live that hit? Uh, 68, 188. This calc isn't exactly working right. I'm trying to calc it at minus one. There we go. Three shot. <laughs> um. Okay, we naturally tank that with like the amount of HP we have. I might just max out that HP to be honest. Hmm. I think the max guys are, I, yeah, I might just actually go full HP. Like we get max HP out of that. That's not terrible. Yeah, I mean, Kyogre and Lando are enough against Zacian. All things, and obviously Moltres, but I don't know. Zacian is just such a good Pokemon. It, you can never be too prepared, you know? You know, I'm beginning to like that, uh, the Galarian Moltres. I'm beginning to like the Galarian Moltres more. I'll still go Safety Goggles. Because I don't want to lose to Calyrex Shadow Rider, which this team looks like it actually has a pretty rough matchup without Moltres. Okay, um, Hurricane is pretty safe here because we're running Rain. Obviously, we want Fiery Wrath. I can run Protect. Do I want Nasty Plot? I feel like Nasty Plot's too greedy. I could run Taunt on this thing. Yeah, because Amoongus is really annoying otherwise. I like that. Okay. Okay. Let me just check this. Um, most Asian aren't running play rough in this format. If I can just tank this hit, that'd be nice. No way. It's just like naturally gonna die every time. Doge Star, thank you so much for the subscription. And oh my God, Bonsai just gifting all the subs. Thank you so much. Thanks, Mati. Dude, thank you for the music. I appreciate you, dude. It's gonna be a lot. <laughs> I'm gonna turn down that a little bit. Actually, is it too loud? We'll see in a second. I'm trying to figure out, like, how can I easily tank this hit? Like, obviously I can just intimidate it, but that just seems so gross for it to be that strong, you know? Like, yeah, at minus one, I tank Behemoth Blade easily. Um, What do I want to outspeed at plus one? Coming out of retirement soon? You better, dude. I need more I need more tunes. Let me look at old Moltres. Moltres Galler. I mean a lot of people ran like weakness policy. They were really just timid. That seems weak. Timid just feels like a weak set. I mean. I'm gonna go modest, obviously. I want a one shot. Kyogre, not Kyogre. Venusaur, possible. Hurricane. Yeah, so we can decrease that. That's all I want, 188. Another 188 special attack set, okay. Modest. Um, it'd be great if I could outspeed Calyrex Shadow Rider at plus one, but that costs 149. Is that why people ran Timid? Because it could outspeed Calyrex Shadow Rider at plus one? Huh. What can I outspeed? Yeah, I guess that's why they ran Timid. Can I still hit 158? If I go Timid? No, I can't. 
All right, modest it is, bulky. Don't care if I get outsped by Calyrex Shadow Rider. But the speed stat is what I'm concerned about. What do I want to hit then? I don't need that much speed. I could just make sure I outspeed my own Zerkatry. I could hit like 113 and be happy. And this is pretty basic, obviously, like, you know. That could do it. Let me check what that lives. And then I can tune it from there. Why doesn't it remember my set? Huh. All right. 52, modest, 188, 84, 420. Refreshing the page, that probably makes sense. Yeri Wrath, Hurricane, all right. Okay, actually, look, now we actually take the Zacian hit. I don't know why it was acting like you couldn't eat it. When obviously, it obviously could. Yeah, now we eat the neutral Zacian hit, which is great. Uh, obviously, Dynamax does the same. Now our Max Airstream, our Max Airstream actually really hurts Zacian. It really hurts him. That's good to know. Wasn't it supposed to be 188 plus? It's currently 148, right? Oh, that that's true. My bad. <laughs> it was 180, I think. We just had to one-shot the Venusaur. Yeah, 188. There we go. The 44. Thank you for that correction. Do I still eat the Zacian hit? I really hope I do. I think I do. Yeah, we still eat the Zacian hit. Not as comfortably, but it's fine. All right, and we still one-shot Venusaur. Um, we definitely absolutely just wall Calyrex, so there's no need to check that. Um, Calyrex Ice, I wanna see if I can one-shot with a max darkness. Obviously, Dynamax, we won't, but that's good to know. This team does not like Calyrex Ice. However, Stack Attack is kind of good enough to deal with it. All right, I think I'm ready to hit the ladder and see what we can do. I forgot, why was I 139 again? Didn't I want to be like 149? forgot why I'm running 139. Anyone remember? <laughs> Anyone remember why I'm running 139? Outspeed a lucky Undertale one. That's what it was. All right. Um, I, I know it won't proc because of the thing. It's mainly just for other ground types or other ground moves in the game. Because I would, I would typically run safety goggles on it, but the safety goggles are currently occupied. I think Shook is just a fine item for it. Let's see what we can do. I've like played maybe three games on Series 11. I've played maybe three games on Series 11. All right, get some games with this team. Okay. This looks very Series 10. <laughs> it looks extremely Series 10. They don't have much Berserkatry, all things considered. Um, I should be able to do that. Actually, I'm probably better off going Whimsicott Lando. Berserkatry in the back, Kyogre.
Yeah, they forgot about Max Airstream. <laughs> Where's your Max Airstream user? It's not a real team without the Max Airstream user. That's why Lando's so good in this format. In any Dynamax format, Lando's crazy. Tornadus. Um, I'm actually willing just to Dynamax immediately. And I'd like to hit the Gothitelle since they should be going for a fake out. Okay. Um, it looks like I can taunt them, which is pretty lit. <laughs> Oh, I don't have taunt. I'm an idiot. I'm a, I'm a stinky idiot. Um, but I should be able to go for this. Into the Gothitelle. If they protect, it's whatever. Honestly, this speed boost is just kind of nasty versus them in general. Yeah, I forgot I dropped taunt. <laughs> I forgot we put the taunt on the friggin' Moltres. Hello? Are you, they're not defiant. That's an interesting play. You guys want to see me absolutely annihilate a Zacian? Urshpoo Rapid Strike. This should be safe. I don't I don't need to worry about any of this. Like, yeah, they could Aqua Jet me, but they'd have to Aqua Jet the Whimsicott and then I still beat them. Okay, that's funny. I have no idea what they were going for there. Like this 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 entire first game has been a little bit awkward. I'm about to make that Zation explode, yeah. Alright, good game. Interesting. Yeah, I don't know what was going on in that first game. <laughs> okay, there it is. Lapdog. Who missed Lapdog? Not me. I completely forgot to calc for Cole in any of my speed tiers. Pretty sure Kyogre outspeeds at plus two. What's Cole's max speed again? They're usually modest, so 174 times four. Um, I'm calculating like worst case scenario. Yeah, uh, so that that's that's like the worst case scenario, but they're usually modest. So 159 times four. 636. Oh, that's level 100. Marcos, you idiot. Best off time? Yeah, they haven't clicked timer yet. 82. I was like, this this seems a little high. <laughs> 328. Um, What do I hit? I hit. I don't hit 300 at all. Uh, Zerka Tree doesn't look terrible. I also can't lead off Lando because of this guy. Definitely want to go Whimsicott. I think I'll go Whimsicott Zerka Tree. I think I will. Yeah, because I can one-shot this this Dragapult. They'd go Kyogre Lando. Oh. Does this thing even get anything to activate? Does this thing doesn't get Aqua Jet? This thing actually doesn't get Aqua Jet. Let me just. Yeah, this is a free max lightning. Like, nothing really comes in on it. Lapras doesn't get Aqua Jet, right? I'm not, I'm not going crazy. It doesn't get any priority. It doesn't. Why would you go into that? Nothing really switches in on max thunder either. They're really taking their time here. They max the coal. I'm really interested why they would do this. Yeah, they're not Sash, so I get a free plus one. I got my Tailwind off. 
Yeah, I'm feeling pretty good about this. What do you think a skill swap Meowstic with Incin and Parting Shot, Amoongus to really bully Dynamax Moss? Could be interesting. Yeah, I mean, if they go into anything. Snooze with the 255 bits. Thank you so much, man. Uh, I can go into Lando here. Thank you, Snooze. You're Snooze VGC, right? It's been a minute if you are. It's been a hot minute. Wait, why does this Colossal just drop? Does Helping Hand go before... I think Helping Hand goes first. Oh my god, wait, hold on. Helping Hand goes before Fake Out. Look how much I'm about to do to this Colossal. This Colossal's gone. He's forfeited his Colossal rights. Check this out. Oh, he lived? Are you kidding me? <laughs> That's pretty funny. Anyways. The lot to Lando. Um, pretty sure Max Lightning's still stronger than Starfall here. Since I'm at plus one on the Rillaboom. Because I'm going to double onto Lando. They should be going for like a Grassy Glide. Or something. Actually, there's no reason to switch out. Yeah, this is always the play. They've sacked the Zacian. They max guard. They still lose. Yeah, I just go into my Lando here and I win. Click Deagle him, get the double KO. Yeah, this is this is low ladder right now. I haven't played any series eleven except for today. goes for the glide and I'm gonna get that's definitely AV not that I care though look my fly good game nice yeah this is still low ladder because I haven't played any series 11 except for today all right this is interesting um actually this looks fairly standard I just don't remember facing this <laughs> I don't remember playing many Calyrex teams back in the day uh, safety goggles Moltres goes absolutely insane in this matchup. I can literally just Dynamax next to Zerka Tree and be like, fine. Um, I can also go Whimsicott, technically. Whimsicott's probably better. Yeah. Kagra Zerk. Um, don't see much of a reason to not just Fiery Wrath here. I obviously, I mean, I could taunt the Indeedee. I'm better off just clicking Tailwind. Is they Dynamax? Hello. Interesting. Hopefully they just go for my Whimsicott, because then I can taunt this Indeedee this next turn. You go for the Moltres. I do get Berserk, which isn't terrible. Yeah, I'm... I'm really interested why they did that. They gotta be defiant. They're definitely defiant, right? In that case, I want to max my Zerka tree just because it goes crazy. Uh, I might let them have the Moltres for that reason. I'm gonna let them have Moltres. Oh, they just gave me Calyrex. I should outspeed, right? Do I outspeed? I don't know. I do not. Oh, but I live. Thank you for the Calyrex. Nice. And yeah, I just win now. I should protect the whimsy guy here. I'm just going to lose this guy. But yeah, no, um, Zerka G just wins now. Interesting. Yeah, I don't need to I don't need to risk anything. I'll just let I'll just let both these guys stand. I'll go for the double. I'll go for the double. If I get it, it's whatever. If I don't, it's whatever. Yeah, they're definitely defiant, which is kind of funny. But uh I should just win now. By going for 
Water Spout, Max Lightning. I could also just Dynamax my Kyogre. That's actually probably safer, all things considered. Because Dazzling Gleam should come close to KOing. They go for Crunch. Hello? This is the most strange Zerkatry I've seen. Amongus. Go for the Max Hailstorm. They don't have Terrain anymore, so I should be able to KO with this combo. Actually, no. They're just gonna... They're gonna follow me here, I would assume. Is it worth risking? They might protect. Yeah, you know, I think regardless, I just go for the KO on the Indeedee. Ah, they protected, dang it. Paralyze? Yeah, that does so much. Alright, um, I should be able to KO this Indeedee now, which means it's not the end of the world, but... It's obviously not great. No, Dragon or Jordan, today is not Moxie Monday. Moxie Monday is only the third Monday of the month. Today's just a regular Monday. All right, I should get this KO. Get my beast boost. Does they have to spore me? I don't agree with that play at all. Go for the palm puff. Uh, I think I still win if I just wake up. Yeah, good game. GG. That was interesting. Um, it's not often you see Defiant Tornadoes. I don't even know what I'm looking at. Does it, <laughs> Caracosta gets Aqua Jet, right? It might just be like Weakness Policy, Moltres. It does. Uh, yeah, we can just play around that expectation. If he is going to just go for Aqua Jet stuff, I can just play like the simple mode. Yeah, and stack attack over Lando here. I wonder what they're going to do. I really do. I'll just water spout. I'm fully expecting Kyogre to like go to sleep or whatever, but there's no reason not to water spout. Like, I'm going to live whatever this Roserade goes for, barring a Dynamax. And even if they do Dynamax, then they just lose to Zerkatry. It gets Swift Swim. You know, they just Aqua Jet it anyways. As it looks like they're sturdy. They go for the Sleep Powder. I should be able to knock out this Roserade. With a Moonblast. is probably scarier though. Yeah, I don't mind. Um, let me get in my Zerka Tree. I got Tailwind up, I can just go for the KO and I think it's pretty much game now that they let me have that. Unless they go for ally switch cheese, which they might here. They actually might. That's actually kind of a concern. Uh, I'm going to go for the water spout. Hopefully I wake up. Actually, there's no reason not to max lightning water spout. All things considered, like, I should actually max lightning the um, Oranguru technically. Yeah, got him. Uh, I'm going to say that's game. They don't have much they can do here. And I should wake up. I think that's my last turn. I can be asleep. Yeah, good game. Zerk Tree is actually kind of going nuts. I actually really like the bulk we got on him. This is a solid team so far. Um, Defiant Thunderous seems really annoying. I should be able just to go like Whimsicott Kyogre on lead and be relatively safe. Obviously, Zergatry in the back is going to be nice, but it's only going to be like disgustingly good when the Landorus is gone, so I have to be careful with him. Um, 
They have quite a few answers for Moltres, so I am going to go Lando. There's Grimmsnarl, Solgaleo. Uh, I want to say that they're just going to go ahead and set up a Trick Room with Solgaleo. They're not. I mean, yeah, I'll take it. I still got rid of the Grimmsnarl, which is kind of all I wanted. There's the Lando T. Dude, if I can get rid of Lando T, I'll be happy. Like, honestly, like, what do they even do at that point? I'm just going to Helping Hand a Scald and hope for the best. I could actually go into Lando myself. And Scald. They might Wide Guard. And now I should take a hit. The Airstream. So they are just going to let me Scald this Lando. Watch it be Weakness Policy. Oh, it does so much. That does so much. Uh, I should be able to do this now. Uh, let me just go for Rock Slide. Scald. I can Dynamax, actually. There's no reason not to Dynamax here. They also have no reason to Earthquake, so I can go into my Zerka Tree. I think that's game. Tap of that's probably game. We did already see Protect on the Solgaleo. I can attempt a Thunder, um, and I can max Geyser the Solgaleo as well. Just doubling into the Solgaleo. Or not doubling, but like, I, I kind of have a pin here by Thundering the Tapu Fini and max Geysering Solgaleo. He has to give me one of these. Or neither. <laughs> Calm Mind's up. I should still be fine, just because of Helping Hand stuff. Hmm. I mean, I still have my Sash. I'll Tailwind. Or I'll, I'll Moonblast here. Moonblast is probably safe. The Gopher and the Kyogre. I probably just win now. They're left over, so. I really need to get my Lando in for free. That's the main deal here. To go for it. I might lose here. Oh, let's get it. All right, here's where I go for fly. And then on the next turn, I helping hand. Oh, let's go. Please KO. Please KO. I think even if it doesn't KO, I still have a, ch a chance at winning. As long as I don't miss. Oh, yeah, we're good. Especially since he missed there. That should be game because I just spam Moonblast. Just had to hit. True, true. You just had to hit, but you did not. Ooh, looks like I lost. Uh, maybe not. How much did I do? 13%? Looks like they're going to be at 13. They're at 13. I have to get the same roll. This is really close. Hey, GG. You live by the muddy water, you die by the muddy water. That's just kind of how it is at this Pokemon. I'm liking this team so far. This is actually a really fun one. 
Ooh, this is definitely some weakness policy stuff. By the way, this is going to be the last battle for the video. And then I'm going to switch over to another game. Like I said, we're trying to do some variety at the end of each stream. I'm going to be doing Apex Legends. I haven't done that in a while. I see very little reason not to actually bring this uh, Zerka tree, all things considered. But also just on lead, Moltres goes crazy. Moltres goes absolutely insane. I'm going to go Moltres, Lando, um, Zerka tree. Hi, Ogre. Uh, I should be able to just... They shouldn't give me this Conkeldur for free, right? Okay, that's fine. I still got the conk. Which, that's really all I needed. Yeah, I'm gonna play Apex. <laughs> Let me get in my Kyogre. Um, I should... Wake the Torkoal. You go for Eruption, does like nothing. You go for D-Gleam, does like nothing. Torkoal should be gone now, unless there's Shooka. They are not. A nice little special defense boost there, and I'm feeling pretty good about this endgame. Uh, let me go ahead and... They're definitely going to max the Necrozma, if anything. Yeah, I want to start cycling some Intimidates. Easiest treat of my life. Got the KO on the hat. Over the Scald. Yep. Sick. Uh, that's definitely just game. Ooh, maybe not. Maybe he will live. He can't KO both of us, so I win regardless. Yeah. yeah it didn't end up mattering. GG. Because regardless of what he did, he ended up dying next turn. Nice. So, how did we do today? Did we lose, like, one game? We either lost one game or we lost none. I wasn't paying attention towards the end. So far, I mean, I I like this team. This is a fun little team. Obviously, IVs, not IVs, but EVs can be optimized a bit more, but it's been working on low ladder. Obviously, we need to ladder up a bit more for Series 11, but it's been fun. This has been a fun team.